the pot of gold bhola and his wife uttara lived in the village of suratpur bhola was a hard working farmer who tended his fields with love and care consequently the grains from his field sold at the best price in the market and bhola earned enough money to not only make a good living but help others too one day impressed with his hard work and kindness lord vishnu decided to give him a boon he appeared in front of bhola and said bhola i am very happy with your hard work and i would like to reward you here is a pot of gold you can use this gold as you please lord vishnu handed the pot of gold to bhola and vanished bhola was very content with his way of living and therefore he and uttara decided to help other needy people in and around the village with the gold they received from lord vishnu when lord vishnu discovered that bhola used the pot of gold to help others he was so pleased that he decided to give bhola a pot of gold every month to help people in need soon poor and needy people from all over the kingdom began coming to bhola for help and bhola and uttara attained immense satisfaction by offering aid to them one day dhanya a wealthy landlord's son got wind of bhola's boon he got envious of bhola he wanted the gold too but didn't want to work hard for it he decided to trick bhola into giving the gold to him he went to bhola disguised as a poor beggar and told bhola that he lost all his fields and his wife was very sick if i don't pay my landlord i will lose everything and if i don't pay for her treatment my wife will die soon he cried in front of bhola after listening to his story bhola gave lots of gold from the pot to the poor beggar dhanya kept coming back every month donning different disguises to ask for the gold and started stacking lots of gold in his garage uttara who watched dhanya through the window every time got suspicious and followed dhanya one day after he took some gold from bhola she learned what he was up to when she saw him without his disguise going into his garage with the gold she then decided to teach him a lesson she told bhola about dhanya's misdeeds and together they made a plan to make dhanya pay the price for his felony next day uttara dressed up in a beautiful sari put on beautiful jewels and emerged in front of dhanya as goddess lakshmi she told dhanya my dear dhanya you are the most clever man in the entire kingdom there is no one who can match up to your cunning and slick tactics of achieving things therefore i have decided to give you a boon dhanya who was beaming with pride could not believe his luck then uttara disguised as goddess lakshmi told dhanya that she knew there was a lot of gold stacked in his garage dhanya got convinced that it was indeed goddess lakshmi as no one knew about the gold except him then goddess lakshmi told dhanya to collect all his gold in a chest and take it to the jungle at midnight put the chest in the cave then sit outside the cave and close your eyes and chant my name a hundred times under all circumstances you must refrain from opening your eyes until you have finished your chanting after that when you open your chest you will find your gold doubled said uttara disguised as goddess lakshmi 
Dhania got excited with the thought of a lot more gold in return for a small task. He ran back to his house to collect all the gold. He waited for midnight and then took the chest to the jungle, put it in a cave and then sat just outside the cave to chant. Bhola, who had been hiding in the cave all this while, came out as soon as Dhania closed his eyes with an empty gunny sack. He quickly put all the gold from the chest in the empty gunny sack and ran away. Meanwhile, Dhania sat outside the cave chanting Goddess Lakshmi's name with his mind swamped with the thought of gold. His chanting grew louder and louder at the thought of more and more gold. All the wild animals of the jungle woke up with the chanting and started walking towards the source of the noise. When Dhanya opened his eyes, he found a bunch of wild animals staring at him angrily, ready to pounce. Dhanya ran for his life, never looking back towards the jungle. When Dhanya discovered that Bhola and Uttara played a trick on him, he resolved to take his revenge. Next month, when Bhola waited for God Vishnu to appear with the pot of gold, Dhanya hid behind the bushes with a few men and weapons until Bhola got the pot. As soon as God Vishnu disappeared, Dhanya went up to him with his men and threatened to kill Bhola if he didn't give him the pot. Bhola caved and gave him the pot and left. But Bhola knew that Dhanya would certainly come back for revenge and therefore he prayed to God Vishnu a night before that he wanted a pot full of scorpions instead of gold this time. Dhanya got home with the pot gloating over his victory. As soon as he opened it, a bunch of venomous scorpions crawled up his arms and stung him. Bhola and Uttara came to his rescue and saved his life. Dhanya realized his mistake and promised both of them to never go down the wrong path henceforth and instead promised to work hard in order to attain wealth. The moral of the story is as you sow, so shall you reap. Hard work reaps success and ill-gotten wealth reaps distress.